Hello everyone, Chance here. Today I'll be doing a review of the Lancer Tactical Elite Multi-Mission Carbine. This gun is OEM'd by Lonex. If you guys could please go down in the description of this video and follow Lancer Tactical on Instagram and like their Facebook page. That would mean a lot to me because they sent me this cool product so I need to show them some love. So that would mean a lot to me. But yeah, this gun is quite, quite impressive for the price range. Um, this isn't like your normal Lancer Tactical gun. Lancer Tactical, honestly... I think their guns are respectable. For 99 bucks, they make a lot of budget-friendly guns, a lot of $99 guns. They're all plastic, usually, and uh, they shoot 400 feet per second for fields, and it's a good way to get newer players into the sport for an affordable price. I don't like the externals of a lot of their guns, but let me just tell you that don't click away because you heard Lancer Tactical. Hear me out. This gun is very, very high quality. It is OEM'd by Lonex, which is known for making high-quality internal parts. Just trust me when I say this gun performs. This gun is well worth the money, and this gun is durable, and there's many variants of this gun, so this really, really fine-tunes uh, the kind of player you are, I guess. I'll get into all the different variants here in a second, but let me just tell you that this gun is a prototype that they sent me. As, if you can see, this is a sticker, so what I'm telling you from my experience can be different from yours, just slightly. They probably, nothing, not like worse, it's just like little things might have gotten fixed or stuff like that just know that your version when you if you buy this gun will have proper engravings the reason mine has a sticker is just because this is a prototype they sent me just understand that so there is many variants i got the 10 and a half inch version you can get this in black or tan you can also get a 14 and a half inch version you can get this with their baw blowback adaptive weapon system which is recoil you can get it with recoil or non-recoil it is still coming out the recoil versions are not on the market yet but they will be here soon you can get a full metal version which is not out yet it'll be here soon and there will be a cqb version coming soon this gun does shoot quite hot it shoots about 420 to 430 feet per second out of the box so it does shoot quite hot if you guys are very picky on, or if your fields are very picky on FPSs and stuff. I Just be aware of that. But there will be a CQB version, full metal version. You get black or tan, 10 and a half inch, 14 and a half inch. You can get it with recoil or not recoil. So there's many, many different variants of this gun that can really, really give you a lot of, uh, I guess, just more comfort on picking a gun that truly fits you. They sent me the non-recoil version and the 10 and a half inch version, which is awesome because this is the one I would want anyways. I think recoil is cool, but for me, it kind of throws me off target. And honestly, I've noticed a lot of guns aren't really reliable when they have a lot of recoil. And also, also every gun that has recoil, I've seen that's an AG, like a recoiling AG, always has a really low rate of fire, which doesn't matter for me. I play semi-auto only anyways, but it's just something that I feel a lot of players would look at. But uh, let me go over all the things that are metal on this gun. Uh, the flip up... Uh, Front and rear sights are a polymer. The rail system is a polymer. Uh, the mag release is metal. The fake bolt cover right here is a metal. The dust cover is a metal. Excuse me, the trigger is a metal. The fire selector switch though is a polymer. The sling mounts on both sides are metal. The buffer tube is metal. And that goes about everything I think that, uh, that you really need to know about the external parts of this gun. The upper and lower and the handguard are all a polymer. The outer barrel is metal, the inner barrel is metal, of course, too. Or brass, I think it actually is. But uh, just know that when I say polymer for a body, don't look away and don't be discouraged. This gun is, without a doubt, the best feeling and most high-quality polymer I've ever felt in my life, and I mean that. Uh, it's weird because usually, like, G&Gs have outstanding polymer guns, and they feel great, and they're comfortable. This is by far the most high-quality polymer I've ever felt on a gun. Like... Usually I need a full metal gun because I hate the feel of polymer, even like a G and G or anything. But I can tell you, I can use this just fine. And I, just because it's so comfy and I love the way it feels and, uh, it's a polymer gun, but it, it just, that doesn't turn me away at all. It's just so high quality and it performs well too. So that's something I really like about this gun. This does feature Lonex's full metal tooth piston, which is probably one of my favorites. You would have to do some research on it yourself, but it's quite interesting because uh, it's not half the teeth this way, like a palm piston would be on an ICS gun that's uh, half the teeth are missing. It's vertically. It is strange because that's the way the gears will grab on the piston. They grab on the side of it. They don't grab the full piston teeth. They grab the side of it. So they only have teeth on that side. So it's quite cool because it cuts down on weight, yet you still have a lot of durability. It does feature a low-resistance wire harness with gold-plated metal or gold-plated connectors. Excuse me. It does have 8 millimeter ball bearings. This gun is designed to use an 11.1 lipo battery without a MOSFET. Yeah, you heard me correctly. You are supposed to use an 11.1 volt in this gun. If you use anything less than 11.1, you should slap yourself in the face because you're making this gun, you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage. This gun is designed to use an 11.1 and you will not get the full experience 
unless you use 11.1 .1 in this gun. Uh, they say it does have a high torque motor in it. Uh, I honestly found the motor to be subpar, mediocre. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, the motor did give me a decent rate of fire. It's about 16 to 17 rounds per second on 11.1 .1 bat battery. Uh, I just found it to not be that whoopy. I, f I, can, I can see it going out, is what I'm saying. Uh, I, I don't know if it will. I could be completely wrong, but just from my experience and how it sounded and how hot the motor got on 11.1, uh, made me think uh, this motor might not last. But that's not a big deal for me. I got a million motors lying around. I'll just throw one in here if it did. But I mean, out of the box, it does perform well off an 11.1 volt lipo. If uh, you guys heard it, it's snappy, it's crisp. Uh, the trigger response is fantastic. Uh, as fast as you could pull the trigger, this thing will shoot. And I truly mean that. I mean, if you could shoot 10 rounds a second in semi auto, it will keep up just fine. So I've been talking a lot about this gun in a, a positive way, and I do really, really like this gun. I can honestly say under $200, this is my number one purchase I would recommend anyone to. This gun, without a doubt, is the best bang for your buck I've ever seen under $200. A gun that is 11.1 LiPo ready and that is under $200 that has great internals and can use 11.1 reliably and shoots 400 feet per second and is used for outdoor play and is an M4 and modern looking and comfortable, has so many cool features. This gun by far takes the cake on that, but uh, a few of the things I dislike is I found the, I can't, I don't know how well you can see this. Uh, my bolt catch also doesn't really work. I don't know, since I do have a prototype, like I said, yours might be different, but my bolt catch only works every now and then again. Like, I don't even think I can get it to work, but it's supposed to lock back. And then there's a fake little bolt catch on the side. That's kind of neat. Just adds some fun to it. But uh, I don't know. Oh, it just worked. It worked. But uh, I don't know how well you can see that hop-up unit. It is a rotary style hop-up unit. That's always fun. But it is rotary style. I noticed it was kind of loose. It didn't really hold its place as well as I would have liked. Because like ICS's click hard and they're stiff and they are not moving. This does move a little bit. has a little bit of play in it. And I feel this over time, over a course of weeks of playing, it will move itself. So it's not a big deal. It's just something to be aware of. I also found that the accuracy was, uh, it was respectable. It was nothing to be, I wouldn't like right home to mom about but it was respectable uh, and also the hop up unit itself the performance i got out of it the range and trajectory was honestly mediocre i didn't it wasn't bad but it wasn't good either i wouldn't say oh yeah this gun shoots great i would say your effective max range would be 150 160 feet tops uh that's effective range that's just it's just mediocre range in my opinion let's chrono the gun I'm gonna give you my honest opinion if I think you should buy this gun or if you should pass. In my opinion, I think it's comfortable, it's durable, it has a lot of cool features like it's enhanced trigger guard, it's extremely comfortable pistol grip that's innovative and comfy. Uh, it's rail system, even though these look like you can move them down like a key mod rail system, it looks like you can get different uh, rail segments and you can put it any which way you like. Uh, you can't, it's all fake. If you took out these Allen keys, took this off, it will not go on these other slots. It's kind of just to fuck with you. I don't know why they did that. I do not like that about the gun at all. But I mean, I, this is all the rails I need. I only need a grip, red dot sight, and then I put my scope cam on the side. That's all I need. I don't run peck boxes or anything like that. But if you do, just be aware that you cannot move this uh, like you would think. But uh, it is very comfortable. This rail system makes it really easy to grab around this handguard. Almost like, I wouldn't say a C-clamp, like a Chris Costa. But I mean... It does make you feel comfortable when you hold it. You feel really precise. You feel like you can aim uh, very easily and freely. Uh, it's quite mobile too. And it does have their enhanced trigger guard, which is easy to get your finger into if you are wearing gloves. This gun just overall is very comfy, performs respectably, and actually performs very well under an 11.1 .1 LiPo battery. I would honestly say I would buy this gun. I would, if you are in the market for a gun under $200, uh, I would highly recommend this because you can run an 11.1 .1 in this gun. You can compete with anyone on the field with this gun. And it's durable, even though it's polymer, where it's metal, it's metal where it counts. But um, even though it's metal, uh, polymer body, it's very high quality polymer. And I don't think you'd have to worry about it breaking on you. But in my opinion, I think this gun is a buy for me. I would highly recommend this gun, especially with all the variants it's gonna be coming out with. Metal version, a CQB version, recoil, non-recoil, black or tan, 14 and a half inch or 10 and a half inch. This gun has it for any player, any kind of player you are. 
and I think that's quite interesting and it's cool too because it's only $185. You guys can purchase this gun on foxairsoft.com. There will be a link down in the description to not only this gun but the battery I would recommend for you to use in this. And also, if you guys will go down in the description, there's still a link down there and if you fill out that link, uh, it was just a page on Fox Airsoft. When you click on that link and you fill that out, uh, Fox Airsoft will send you a coupon code for 15 bucks. That means you get 15 free bucks to spend on their site. That means you can get this awesome product for only 170 bucks, or you can get a free bottle of BBs, uh, free anything that's 15 bucks. You get free 15 bucks to spend on their site. So fill out that link in the description and you guys can uh, get 15 bucks. Again, I would like to thank Lancer Tactical for sending me this awesome product. It really does mean a lot to me that I have a company sending me some cool shit to review and give my honest opinion on. So yeah, uh, remember this is a prototype version. Things are subject to change. Things like the fucking... It worked! But uh, the bolt catch. Uh, things like that are subject to change. Just because mine doesn't work all the time doesn't mean yours won't. It also doesn't mean yours will either, but I'm just saying, just to be aware, this is the prototype version. But there is a lot of different variants out there, and there's a lot of different variants coming. So just be aware of that, but uh, yeah, I would honestly tell you to buy this gun. This gun is fantastic. I really do like it. I think it's a respectable gun, and I think Lancer Tactical is going in the right way. Because I like their budget guns for the newer player, because even though they're all plastic and they break in a fucking second, they shoot great. They shoot respectably, and they're a decent starter gun. And that's what I like about them, but Lancer Tactical is not bad. And I think if they kept coming out with new, innovative, uh, interesting, high-quality products like this, I think their company reputation would go in a better way than it is. So I just hope you guys understand that. Uh, so yeah, if you guys could please go down in the description, support Lancer Tactical. This gun will be down in the description as well, the product link. I hope you guys enjoy this review. Uh, you guys be safe, take care, and have a great day. See ya. Yeah.